What's up, YouTube? This is Alpha Prime of Prime Union, and I'm currently back on the Space Ape test server to bring you a brand new character spotlight on the new characters Cybertron Jetfire and Cybertron Starscream. In this video, we're going to have gameplay of the new bots, and I'll do a direct comparison of the two four-star Jetfires. And we are going to take a look at the three-star as well. And trust me, it's gonna be worth the wait, but before we get to that, if you could please like, subscribe, and share this video with your alliance and all those into Transformers, I would really appreciate it. Your views really support me and my channel. And once we get to 1,500 subscribers, so we're just, I think we're 15 to 20 subscribers away, I'm gonna do a little action figure giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe and watch my videos for clues on how to win this action figure. Now, without further ado, here they are. The new Cybertron Jetfire. You'll notice that they took this uh, design from uh, the War of Cybertron uh, game that came out a few years ago. And uh, also, for those that collect the toys, we all know that uh, Hasbro is uh, has a new line of Transformer toys called Siege uh, War for Cybertron. And uh, Jetfire is, uh, Cybertron Jetfire is another toy that's coming out uh, sometime this year, I think in August. And uh, here's a screenshot of uh, the new Cybertron Jetfire. And as you can see, um, you know, he looks, his battle armor looks very similar to uh, uh, this figure in the game. And um, yeah, I was really excited about this action figure. I'm going to for sure uh, get it when uh, it comes out in August. But uh, let's uh, take a look more at uh, Cybertron Jetfire. Doesn't he look great? Here is his transformation as well. So you can see he looks just like the, uh, the transformation in the video game. And uh, I actually have that game for the PS3. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that game, uh, especially with all the cool transformations and the ability to use the Transformers in both uh, robot and in uh, vehicle mode, which is really, really cool. And here is Starscream, Cybertron Starscream in all his glory. And as you can see, they've also adapted him from the, uh, the toy that's coming out later on in August this of this year. So really excited to uh, get my hands on uh, this uh, new figure and to uh, try out uh, Starscream and Jetfire in the video game as well. Uh, here's his awesome transformation. As you can see he looks just like a Cybertron uh, uh, vehicle. Uh, those uh, triangular jets that uh, we all saw in uh, episode one of Transformers, the, the G1 cartoon. Here's a screenshot of some of those Seekers. As you can see, they look very similar to uh, Cybertron Starscream's design. And so very excited for uh, this new um, era in Transformers Earth Wars with uh, Cybertron figures. And they are uh, built for uh, the new Cybertron game mode, the raid mode that we have on the weekdays. So uh, we're going to go take a look at uh, gameplay on these guys. And uh, here's some screenshots that I wanted to share with you guys um, to show you the comparisons between uh, Starscream and Jetfire. So here we go. This is uh, Jetfire at level 54.8. This is his screenshot. And as you can see, I've matched it up with uh, Jetfire as the four star as well. And you'll notice that uh, they're not quite the same. You'll notice that uh, Cybertron Jetfire has uh, more health uh, at 8,400 health. And his damage per second is 386 for the level 54 Jetfire. And when we look at the 54 Jetfire, uh, the, old, the, the original one that we got in the game, his health is only 5,320. So you're getting 3,000 more health at level 54, but the damage, you'll notice that the damage is uh, quite a bit higher for the original Jetfire. And the reason why they've decided to go with this is because of the special abilities. You look at uh, Cybertron la Laser level eight, fires a laser dealing 3,551 damage to regular buildings at 71 and uh, 
and uh, 7,100 damage to Cybertron buildings. So double the damage to Cybertron buildings are uh, the major benefits uh, for this new Cybertron Jetfire. And also, I would like to mention that uh, his range is actually larger than, than Jetfire's range. And you'll notice that in the screenshot here that um, Jetfire, the, the original Jetfire has, a, has to get up closer to, to, to uh, buildings to destroy them. So it's really nice that there's the Cybertron Jetfire has some more range, but of course, with that extra range, he loses some damage per second. So those are some of the major uh, new bonuses that we're going to get with this new Jetfire figure. But uh, there are some, some drawbacks as well, because you're getting so much more firepower with Cybertron Jetfire. His special ability costs two more points than Jetfire's to start, but they both cost two more points each to for each additional uh, use of a special ability. So uh, if you can get past that first ability, uh, it's not so bad. And uh, another thing I should mention is if you look at the screenshot here, Jetfire's uh, range is a lot shorter uh, than than uh, than Jetfire from the the G1. I mean the, the original G Jetfire figure. So there are some definitely some different differences here, and uh, let's get into some gameplay, and we'll try out uh, these bots in action. I'll show you exactly what I was mentioning uh, here so far. Okay, so before we get to some gameplay here, I wanted to uh, level up or give my Cybertron Jetfire a power core. So let's go take a look at him in my uh, in my character selection here, and you'll notice that uh, my my four star Jetfire has at level 56 is 56 9 has 4,617 damage uh, with that enhanced ordinance on him which gives him special ability another 25 percent or 23 percent boost so let's level up this jet fire and get him to the same so let's uh, let's uh let's uh start off with getting that laser up one level let's uh let's do 58 9 here and it's going to cost me uh 3.7 a uh, million energon and 500,000 sparks. So I've got a million saved up here on the test account. Let's go ahead and level up his ability to level nine. Okay, so you can see there his damage is at 3682 base and 7365 damage. Wow, uh, to his uh, his uh, Cybertron ability. And we're going to go ahead and give him an enhanced ordinance as well. So I took the liberty of leveling this one up to 15 to equip him. So let's equip this new Jetfire. All right, so there is the new Enhanced Ordnance Core that just came out a few months ago, and that gives Jets an ability to do more damage to buildings. So let's compare my jet fires now. Let's take a look at my four-star jet fire, and uh, as you can see now, uh, his damage is at 4,529 4, damage at 54.9. So if I was to level it up to 56, it's gonna be he's gonna deal more damage than my than my fo my four star jet fire and uh, that ability of nine thousand damage there is really nice as well. So uh, let's get into action here and, and and compare the two. So you can see there at fifty six nine uh, jet fire is just almost the same uh, damage as a fifty four nine. So you'll notice that that Cybertron jet fire does deal more special ability damage. Okay, let's get into a attack now. So we're going to try and uh, use both jet fires here in a zone 12 attack. Going to uh, use some of these newer bots as well. Let's try zone 12 here. I'm going to try and, and highlight jet fire as much as I can possibly do. And try not to use the other bots as much so you guys can see the two uh, jets in action. Okay, so this is a zone 12 raid. Here we go. Okay, this base here we've loaded up. Okay, so uh, you're, you'll notice that uh, there are some decent defenses here. So we're gonna bring, uh, let's bring three bots here just to see how it goes. I'm gonna bring, uh, but let's, let's, bring our, let's try the two jets first. I'm gonna show you their, their range differences. So we're gonna deploy both jets at the bottom of the screen here at the same time. So right away off the bat, you'll see that Cybertron Jetfire costs six and regular Jetfire costs four, but look at the range difference there. It's at least four, at least four squares of a difference there between the two. So there is a significant difference in terms of, of a range of special ability attack, but four star 
Cybertron jet fire. You'll notice can attack things from further distance here. Look at that difference there. It's about uh, it's about uh, almost uh, two or three blocks difference as well in terms of the distance of, of the range. So I brought uh, my uh, sandstorm here just to heal up my bots in case I start talking and if I get to uh, use the special abilities. And uh, you can see jet fire at a distance here is just cleaning up. Uh, uh, defenses from a distance here, and then we're going to start using uh, both jet fires to take out these defenses here. And I really like uh, the new Sandstorm figure. He uh, was a leaderboard bot of a few leaderboards ago, and uh, when I pair him with uh, this um, Alchemist Core, he just uh, heals up every time he attacks uh, bases or defenses. And, uh, and and also uh, he's uh, yeah I think the alchemist on him so that's just an example and uh, we're just gonna keep firing bombs away at this base until it's down let's uh, drop another air supply drop here to heal up both of my jets and uh, yeah see look at that eh it's you, you'll see jet fire gets up close to defenses whereas uh, the Cybertron Jetfire likes to attack stuff from further distance, so that's really nice, especially for the raids. You, you won't be up so up, you won't be so up front with uh, with with defenses, and you should live a lot longer, especially having uh, eight thousand life as well. And we'll use Cybertron Jetfire's ability here to take out that uh, mortar, and all right, all my bots survived this base here. Take this down. All right, so there you go. There's some of the differences between uh, Cybertron Jetfire and and uh, regular Jetfire. So again, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the ranges are very different. The abilities are kind of similar, but also very different as well. So uh, some nice changes to the two bots, just to distinguish the two characters. And uh, while we're at it, let's try out Starscream and. Uh, We'll uh, get into some Starscream action here. I'm gonna use my Decepticons here. Sinner Twin and let's use Starscream. As you can see, I haven't really leveled up uh, my bots on this account. So Starscream is quite weak. So we're just gonna try them out in Zone 10 and see how it goes. But uh, I also wanna show off Sinner Twin's uh, abilities and uh, I really like his uh, ability to uh, speed up the bots and slow down defenses as well. So this is a Zone 9 raid here with two bots. And I just want to showcase this new Starscream figure for you guys. Or, or this new Starscream character. So it's kind of interesting that Starscream, he, uh, he has uh, jet cannons on his arms. But he doesn't use them in battle. So that's kind of interesting. He's got two laser pistols. So that's kind of different. And uh, we're in range of that laser there. So uh, and let's use uh, let's use Center Twin's ability here to slow down these two mortars. And look at that range of Starscream. It's so nice. It's out of range of uh, shock towers, which is a nice. Another nice benefit of using uh, these new Cybertron uh, jets. And this uh, Zone 10 base doesn't stand a chance against uh, my Cybertron, Starscream, and Center Twin. So there you go. He's out of range of shock towers, which is really nice. That is a, would be a nice little uh, added feature to this new bot. And uh, what else can I say? Or let's try out, or let's try out uh, his attack now in uh, in a raid. Let's give this raid a go here. Okay, so this is raid base one, and it looks very, very uh, difficult by the looks of it, but. Again, level one bases are a lot weaker than uh, than, than they appear. Uh, they they do have more damage. We got 3,700 damage for that acid launcher, 
and uh, the Cybertron Jetfire deals 9,000 damage at 54.9, so that's pretty cool. And let's uh, let's see how that works out for for us here in this battle here. And I'm thinking I'm gonna bring. I want to bring something that speeds up my team, but I don't think there is a a boost that really does that. So uh, I guess the only thing I can think of is uh, I probably won't use a boost, but even shark even sharks uh, they'll help a little bit to uh, to take down uh, defenses. So maybe I'll bring some sharks with me. Okay, so let's get into uh, some gameplay here, and we'll drop my team. And I'll show you how I would take down base one with this squad here. Optimus Prime. Okay, so here we go. We're going to engage this base from the right here. And uh, the objective is to bring Prime here so he can keep the bots to one side. I'm going to use uh, Streetwise's ability right away just to speed up the team by 30%. And you see this laser's attacking my guys, so I'm going to drop Cybertron. Boom! Cybertron Jetfire takes out that laser with one shot. So really nice uh, uh, ability with all those extra points. And let's uh, work our way to this HQ here. And I think this wore out on me now. So let's use Streetwise's ability one more time to give these bots a 30% boost in speed. And let's use Cybertron Jetfire's ability again for you guys. Look at that. It almost took out that mortar one level with one shot. And I'm already at 10, I'm already at 35 points, so I've got to hustle here and try and get this base down uh, in, in two minutes. So let's uh, speed these guys up. I'm gonna use Wheeljack's ability, and I'm gonna use Streetwise's ability. So that is some crazy speed boosts right there. That's, uh, as you can see there, you get 68% boost for eight seconds with Wheeljack. And I'm also speeding up my guys 30% for 18 seconds. So 30% extra speed plus an additional 68. That's a 98% speed boost, guys. It's awesome. So you can see Streetwise is a great bot for these raids. Or Center Twin if you're, if you're a con. And then let's just go right to the HQ here. Since my guys aren't even taking any damage because I'm using, I'm using two healers. And the, he, he, the two healers are keeping my bots healthy. And uh, it's this, the speed of uh, Wheeljack's ability and Streetwise's ability there, just crushing this base very quickly here. I'm at 35 points again, so I'm just going to use up these special ability points. Let's uh, use up Cybertron Jetfire again here, just to weaken this laser for fun. You can, you'll notice that, that significant damage there from Cybertron Jetfire. And uh, look at that range. Jetfire is back there where the gunners are. So that's another uh, tip I'd like to mention that you're, you're going to get that extra uh, distance with uh, with uh, with Jetfire, which is co comparable to a gunner. And look at that, 58 seconds to spare, and this this team of mine was able to take out base one. And that's what you guys got to do in this raid mode. You guys have to attack. At an angle. It, it, now, because this is a level one base, it's very easy. But if you're gonna do a base that's tougher, you gotta start in the middle, clean up the middle portion, and then path to the right and just make a path to the beeline to the HQ. And that's how you take down these bases quickly. Don't waste. I've seen a lot of uh, newer players t destroy the whole base to get to the HQ. You don't wanna waste attacks doing that. You start in the middle, carve a path in the middle, and then keep to a side. And you'll and you'll do maybe 25%, uh, 30% less less attacks and finish off the base. Okay, so that's Cybertron Jetfire in action again. Key highlights of of Cybertron Jetfire and Cybertron Starscream. Their range ability is similar to a gunner, so he's going to hang back with the gunners out of range and. The health, look at that health, 8,400 health at level 54. So I'm going to get 9,000 health if I matched up uh, my, my, my Cybertron Jetfire with my, with my regular Jetfire 56. And um, so I'll have 9,000 health uh, as opposed to my 5,600 there. So 3,000 more health, guys. And I know there is a damage, uh, you, like 
there's a, a decrease in the damage per second at 478 for jet fire and uh cybertron jet fire is only at 386 but he'll be over 400 with uh with a, a level 56 he'll be close to 400 there so not too much of a difference uh, in loss there but that range is really really nice his special ability uh at level nine there just deals so much damage nine thousand damage to cybertron buildings hope you enjoyed those replays and uh, maybe I'll do one more replay for you guys at a higher level. Okay, so we're just loading up a zone 14 base for you guys. And this one here looks pretty good. It's got lots of max defenses. And uh, let's let's see uh, this jet fire in action against this kind of base here. You can see that uh, these uh, mortars have 4,500 health. Jetfire's ability deals 4,530, so not, oh my gosh, one, one, uh, one point short of taking out that mortar, but I can take that mortar out for sure. So let's, uh, let's get to action on this base with this walk team here and, uh, and see Jetfire in action. I think he's going to come in super handy because he's going to act like another gunner for my team. So whenever you walk a base, you want to just kind of clear out some of these honeycombs. And what I do here is you'll notice that I basically try to take out stuff so that I don't have to engage that, uh, so we don't have to engage this uh, outpost. The bots will pass downwards and we'll go towards the left here. And, uh, We'll go to the left here. Prime stuck on a wall. It's okay. Jet fire engages sound wave. That's okay because they got two healers here. Now this is my 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 account on the test server. I don't have uh, five star healers, but you see, as you can see, these four star healers are about fifty, level fifty five. So they they get the job done. They can keep your bots alive. Level fifty five, four star is good enough. And now we're going to path upwards. Thankfully, there's a mine there, which allows uh, my hotspot to catch up a bit. And uh, let's engage this base. So the nice thing about jet fire is you'll see here he's out of range uh, of the shock tower, which is nice. He hangs back with the gunners, so that's like an extra gunner on your squad. Very nice. And uh, what is Hotspot doing over here? He's walking upwards, unfortunately. But let's get him to uh, attack this uh, this missile launcher there so that uh, my guys don't take too much fire from that missile launcher. And I use one of Ratchet's healing bombs and one of Wheeljack's abilities here just to speed up the team. And I just love using Wheeljack's ability because uh, when you've got a bunch of clumped defenses, it's perfect uh, for these scenarios because you just want to uh, your bots to quickly work their way through the base. Okay, so here we go. I've taken out most of this base here. Let's use Hotspot's ability one more time, because uh, last time he, got, he kind of got thwarted by Mind Wipe there. No problem, bot's still alive. Let's uh, use one more speed boost here. Speed up the game a bit. And you can see this nice time trap base. I took it out with uh, 50 seconds left to go. New Cybertron Jetfire in action. All right, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the replays here. I haven't uh, shared the, a, a, sh a shot of my three-star uh, Cybertron Jetfire, so I'm just going to get to that right now. Thanks for waiting, guys. And um, let's pull up a screenshot of the three-star Jetfire. And uh, we'll take a look at his stats here. So... Uh, the three-star jet fire, as you can see there, he's my best three-star bot. And uh, at level 54, 8, he deals 3,696 damage to uh, defenses with uh, Enhanced Ordnance Core equipped. And uh, if we if we uh, add another level to his uh, laser beam, 3,800. So if you look at these numbers here, it's pretty clear you, at 50... If at 58 9 probably you can start to one-shotting uh, max mortars and look at that health 6770 health for his three star at level 54 which is uh, really nice and uh, and that's uh, on par with or higher than even a four star health 
So three stars got nice health, and um, and uh, here's a screenshot of a five star firefly that I wanted to share with you guys as well. You'll notice that if you look at this five star firefly, his life is not even as good as the Cybertron Jetfire's life uh, at at uh, at my level. So uh, very nice uh, bought this Cybertron Jetfire. It's going to come in super handy for the raids uh, as an as an extra gunner and. Uh, well, he's a jet, but he acts like a gunner because he hangs back there. And uh, so I think he's going to be a lot of fun to use. My verdict uh, right now, we haven't played with him enough. I think that, uh, again, if we get Cybertron weapons on our bases, like on our regular bases, I think he's going to be an overpowered bot. He's going to be amazing because you're getting double that damage. So uh, the verdict's still out on this Cybertron Jetfire. I still I like him. I think he's a, a great addition. Uh, the toys are going to be great as well. I can look forward to getting that Commander uh, Jetfire and uh, and that also that Star Scream as well. And um, what else can I say? Thanks for uh, watching this video. If you guys want to see any of my other videos on Transformers Earth Wars content, I have tons in the description and in my playlists. So check out all that goodness below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share if you like this video. And I'll catch you at the next one. This is Alpha Prime. Peace out.